Alright, what's good with y'all boys? It's your boy, Jay. What's the word? And uh, today I'm be showing y'all boys how to get rid of the keyboard and mouse and put the layer on uh, Xbox. Me and my friend tested it. He's on OG. I'm on next gen. At uh, 120. So uh, yeah, let me give y'all my Fortnite settings and my Xbox settings in this video and my keyboard and stuff. Cause somebody asked for that in my TikTok comment. So uh, yeah. So first thing you wanna do when you go to your Xbox settings is go down. Well, I'm just gonna use the shortcut, which is Windows I. You gonna go to your settings. Uh, okay. This is uh, this is kind of optional. I don't really think it changes nothing. But if your console is to where it's to the point where it'll sleep, like kind of like rest mode on the PS4, if it's to that point where it'll sleep instead of just shutting down another way, you might want to do that because I think it'll take away a good amount of input. There. Uh, another one you can do is go to TV and um, display options. It's night mode stuff. You, get, you really don't need night mode. Like, you don't really need that. I just, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your controller brightness down. I, you can turn this all the way off if you want, but I turn mine down to one tick before off. And another thing you do is get your power button brightness. So I just got mine at 50%. It don't really matter. I don't have night mode on. Another thing you do is um, you can do this. If your monitor allows it, I'll show y'all what I mean. My monitor doesn't really do it for me. So you could use a uh, stretch ray. So you go to uh, device, not the device control. Go to video fidelity, overstand. Put it to HDMI. And uh, whenever you first do it, I'm not going to do it just for the sake of the video. But when you first do it, your screen has like black bars and a stretch. But you just go on your monitor and you go to your, whatever setting it has. And you can put it on like full screen or something like that. Mine only has two options and doesn't allow it, so yeah. Uh, another tip when you go to Fortnite, close out your settings up. Like I know, I know it might not seem like it does much, but it does. Alright, so like in Fortnite, you probably wonder like why does the game look that kind of looks like PC? Not really. So what you gonna do is you go right here, set save zone. You take your controller. Usually it's probably gonna be like that. You just push your left stick up and it takes it all the way down and you uh, apply it. I'm gonna show what it's like when it's like normal. So uh, this is what it, what your menu looks like, but when you do the setting, it just looks like it looks like this, you know, kind of big, you know. It might not seem like it does much, but it actually does. For me. If you don't work for you, don't worry. I got y'all these other settings. So uh, yeah. So now you can go to your settings. Uh, look, I'm pretty sure you don't see this in every video. But, uh, one, make sure this simple pre edit option is off. I know you probably like this guy is crazy, something like that. Just turn it off, trust me. It turns off some of the delay. Like, it don't feel delayed. It's just like, it feels like, I don't know. Can't really explain it, but it just, when I turn it off, I feel way better. Just move your gameplay. But cut all replays off. I know you probably don't hear this from everybody. So, uh, yeah. Another thing you do is go to your keyboard and mouse settings. And hit lock input method is mouse on. Don't ask me why, just turn it on, trust me. And go over here. Make sure 3D headphones and visualize sound effects are off because it's trying to render too much at once. Go to subtitles, options, turn it off. Turn all this to the left, basically. And uh, then what y'all boys want to do is. Uh, over here, over here, over here. So you go over here, you turn off all the stuff that you don't need on. Like, I don't know why text chat says it's on. I have mine disabled. I have this disabled. I don't port friends. I got all of it off. All of that. So, uh, yeah. No, uh, no. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I can give y'all some. I'm going to give y'all some more tips with the console and stuff. So what y'all boys gonna do is make sure you plug your keyboard and mouse into the back of your console. I cannot stress this too much. Check. You just wanna plug it into the back of your console. I don't know why it takes away so much delay, but this works on PC and console actually. So uh yeah, I'm about to give y'all boys my keybinds and settings. Since folks was asking for it in the TikTok comments, so yeah. My keyboard and mouse settings is like that 8.5, 8.5, and 800 DPI. Uh, targeting sensitivity 40 on each. My uh, double movement on Fortnite is 65, 90, and 100. And my key binds, I'm just gonna scroll through these. I'm not finna explain these. Alright, 
All right, y'all. So yeah, that's my settings. That's how you remove all your delay. Uh, if I find more ways to remove delay, I'll probably make another video on this. But if I find just one, I'll probably like share it inside of like a YouTube post or something. Cause who would just come for one tip? I mean, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all boys later.